Hey guys, this is Brian here from 3D for Medical, and today we're going to talk about the bones of the sternum. The word sternum is Latin in origin and it refers to the breastbone. Looking at complete anatomy, you can see that the sternum is located in the center of the chest and is a key component of the thoracic cage. The sternum is made up of three separate bones. You have the manubrium, which makes up the superior part, the body, which makes up the middle part, and the xiphoid process, which makes up the inferior part. Now, if you're having problems identifying these bones, then just remember these four simple points. So the first point to note is that back in the day, some guy in Roman times thought that the sternum looks like a sword. And looking at the model, you can kind of see that this makes sense. The second point to remember is that the word manubrium is Latin in origin, and it means handle like the handle of a sword. Now the word manubrium is an extension of the word manus, which is Latin for hand. And you can see this word sometimes in general English in words like manual and manicure. The third point to note is that the word body is a general term used in anatomy and it usually means the larger part of a structure or an organ. Now keeping the sword theme in mind, the body represents the majority of the blade of the sword. Most of the costal cartilage is attached to the body and hold the thoracic cage together. The final point to note is that the xiphoid process's name is Greek in origin and it means like a sword. And it generally refers to the tip of the sword. Ah. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's our four tips for remembering the bones of the sternum. If you still can't identify these bones, just think about the upside down sword on the chest. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe to get even more tips to learn about the human body with Complete Anatomy.